The Biden administration has created an alternative universe where any criticism of the dear leader is a hate crime. The campaign, aiming to flip North Carolina, sent Binder to do a local radio hit, and she hung up the phone on them. They all said, would you please just ask her, does the president have dementia? And so before I move on from that, does he? That, Mark, Mark, I can't even believe you're asking me this question. It is uh, incredibly insulting. And, uh, and so we can, you know, we can move on to the next question. Gas prices and grocery prices then. Big topics here in North Carolina. How does uh, Mr. Biden win votes when people don't have as much disposable income? Uh, eggs, milk, uh, seafood products, uh, all the important uh, groceries, those costs have gone down because of what this president has been able to do. And, th and with that, thank you so much, Mark. Have an amazing, amazing day. Wow. Wow. And she hung up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Former White House press secretary and co-host of Outnumbered, Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee, what happened here? I mean, look, this is crazy to me. There, I, When I stood at the podium, I would have loved to hang up on Jim Acosta as he <laughs> howled like a hyena shouting at me. Caitlin Collins and others didn't have that option. Must be nice, Karine Jean-Pierre. You do the radio interviews, you just hang up. I mean, what's crazy to me, most of all about this, she clearly didn't like the questions. She's clearly bristling was the headline out of it. If I would have given an answer like that, the headline would have been, White House press secretary does not deny the president has dementia. Yeah. It'd be cycles of news coverage, but you don't see it today, do you? Not even a blip. So she hangs up on North Carolina. They're trying to strip RFK and Trump off the ballot. <laughs> and then Jill's calling Republicans yeah. Nazis. How, how do you describe a campaign that looks like that, Kaylee? A campaign in chaos, a campaign that, that looked at the Quinnipiac poll today, the one that disproportionately always favors Democrats, and you throw in RFK, the guy they write off as crazy, and all of a sudden Biden loses. Our Fox poll, you see Biden losing by five points. They don't know what to do. They are throwing spaghetti at the wall. They just assumed when it became a head-to-head -head race, they would prevail. It's not working. The spaghetti's not sticking, but they're going to throw harder at Radio City tomorrow. <laughs> so Radio City's tomorrow. You're going to have Bill Clinton. You're going to have Barack Obama. You're going to have Joe Biden. Is that enough firepower to save Joe Biden? No. It wasn't enough to save Hillary Clinton. Look, Barack Obama is a talented politician, very good orator, skilled. You know, I don't disagree with his decision making as president, but he's skilled. He couldn't save Hillary Clinton. He tried that Chicago rally. You can't save Hillary. You can't save Joe. All right. Well, Johnny will be there on his best behavior, of course. Ooh. Yep. Tune in for that. I'll be watching that. <laughs> All right, Kaylee. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jesse. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.